One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. Link is in the description. All right, enjoy the video, guys. So I just thought that I would show these lines. I know I don't have the scale on the side. It kind of sucks. I know these do go in 50 cent kind of intervals, but it was just almost impossible for me to get this one up here. So if you want to go back, this is Y10. And I just wanted to kind of go about and show you guys how I, I draw my lines personally, because I guess a lot of people have been mentioning to me like, oh, well, in the videos, like we didn't really see you draw your lines. So could you uh, send me what your lines were today or how you draw lines? Basically, I saw this little support level down here this one could be a support level as well but the reason why I didn't draw that line is because we were opening kind of a little too close to it so I knew that that probably wasn't gonna work and that this area would be the area that I was looking for so then yeah we we ended up you know coming up uh, obviously this support level was kind of like a big one this support level was kind of like a big one as well just up here and up here and the one up here was the one that kind of ended up working in the end that's kind of how I, I would draw my lines on something like this in the pre-market I mean maybe you might want to draw one like right here as well I'm trying to draw less I'm trying to pay attention to to just the best ones I guess here you could you could draw one as well but I'm just this is just a, an example of how I didn't I didn't really expect it to break 9 970 so I didn't really have anything up there but it's pretty clear to say that like this would probably be a line up here would probably be an area that I'd be looking at as well and I mean that's just pretty much it I'm trying to be as simple as I can something that's really important as well is just being super super simple and just uh, like not trying to draw too many lines not trying to be FOMO because I see a lot of people's charts where it's like line 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 they have like 30 lines it's like okay the lines are going to be meaningless if you just have 30 lines guys look at the main areas you're thinking as a short trader okay where are people trapped and you're thinking as a long trader okay where could people be potentially trapped short you know in the morning I don't know if there were people who held this whole thing short. I hope not, but usually these kind of bottom areas are kind of like places where, where shorts have been trapped. We probably have a cluster of longs who are trapped from up here. We probably have some longs who are trapped from up here as well. So it's probably up here that we have most longs trapped. Probably down here that we have most most shorts trapped, I would think, but I mean, maybe not. Yeah, I think that was, that was something that I was kind of looking at. I just like this kind of support line over here and that was pretty much it. And remember, if this, this line had broken then I'm, I'm out right I'm just gonna stop out and that's about it so I said yeah I'm gonna watch like 7 680 area and it was just kind of more so an idea right I mean Y10 really is a short on all pops kind of like bow said as well but I just wanted to see if it was gonna hold in this area because this is like the last level for long I have really no choice but to say this you know so I do sound like a hero here or someone that's you know crazy or you know like oh my god bro but to be honest this is the last level that I can watch I can't watch anything else I'm not gonna be looking for a long down here you know it's done by then right so that's why like this is kind of the kind of the last area so this is the line that they're gonna be using to save it if it's really done right I just said you know I'm gonna be watching around 7 680 area and then as we kind of move on four minutes later I said you know I feel like this should be breaking down more than the, more than it is because we've been hanging around this area it, it tried to break down couldn't try to break down couldn't try to break down and then just at 1053 I'm like okay the seven line is just being eaten up there's a lot of selling the stock's not going down. There's some buying, but really not a lot. There, there was way more selling than buying, but we just were not breaking down in that area. So I just said, you know, obviously something's up here. And then we ended up popping above VWAP. Uh, I believe it was Farmer. And then uh, this one, I said, you know, it still doesn't feel super weak to me down here. Because also, remember, we have this kind of support area, this old, old, old cluster right around here in this type of area, right? So if we have that kind of old cluster right there, I'm going to be watching that again for a long to see if it, if it, doesn't break down right and I said this does not feel super weak to me like in my opinion this should have bounced and then came straight back down we should have been back to seven and that that would have been the end of the play that would have signaled to me that okay this is really done okay there's no one that's still buying this thing it's done it's over it's out but what do we get we ended up and then I just said at 1046 like no one would be expecting this to teleport again if you're a short seller you're just shorting on this pop thinking oh well we're definitely going down to normal you're looking left you're seeing this big 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 sell off but over here I did say it start it's it's gonna start to feel weak around 12 and the reason being is just we we 
this stock was exhausted. It tried, it, it failed, it tried, it failed, it tried, it failed, it tried one last time, right? And just look at the volume on this stuff move, right? This is just telling me that over eight, something's going on here. There's something over eight that is just keeping this stock down because one, two, three, four, five, six times to try and get over eight. I'm sure there were breakout buyers every single time as well thinking, oh, we're over eight this time, gonna go higher. And then they just get crushed. Oh, we're gonna do it again. Then they just get crushed. Oh, we're gonna do it again, right? We just get crushed. So you just gotta be analyzing. And I was saying like, we were talking in here in the in the main chat and I said, who has edge here? Okay, we know that this has been stuffing. Until this stops doing this pattern, no one has edge, right? No one has edge. I think it's, you know, it's important to just take things into context, take things into account. Remember like, I'm keeping it super simple. Like I was buying down here at seven. We ended up popping. You know that was kind of my trade on it. This is some of my some of my commentary on this one. So basically, in the morning, uh, there actually was a nice trade on it. Up, up over view up. I think I got this one as well. But I was just looking for the screenshot and I couldn't find it. Hey guys, my name is Toss Bradley. I'm one of the head mentors and moderators at my investing club. If you have any questions about getting started in trading, getting started in MIC, MIC in general. Text me at 213-458-5997. This is not a robot. It is me directly on the other end of my business line, and uh, we'll get you in the club. We also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up. Back to the video. So we got up over VWAP. We know that a lot of shorts were probably trapped under VWAP. So when we get up over VWAP, it's not a surprise that we move higher. I mean, I wasn't surprised at all because see, the problem is we probably have people trapped long up here, but we probably have a ton of people shorting. And this stock was also easy to borrow. And I'm pretty sure the stock had SSR on as well. That combination can be deadly for shorts because shorts have to fill into an uptick. That can sometimes put them at a disadvantage. So this one, we kind of consolidate on VWAP. We go higher and immediate stuff, immediate, immediate immediate stuff and I said that was dirty but expected we know that probably not a lot of people were short here because we we need to think like okay if I'm a short seller where am I gonna be the most comfortable to take a short position right because the market kind of baits you a little bit if you're if you are not shorting the lines I'm, I'm thinking about FOMO shorts not like MIC shorts MIC shorts are trained to just kind of short line to line and to into pop so you don't really get trapped. But I'm thinking FOMO shorts, new shorts, other people shorts, right? And so where would these people be most comfortable? Well, they would see this death candle, right? And they'd probably be thinking, wow, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm out, like I'm done. I, the stock's done. It's going to fade all day. It's going to be perfect. It's amazing, right? But what they fail to forget is that the stock is also easy to borrow and also has SSR and also has these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful support lines here, right? If we start consolidating under VWAP, that's pretty bullish for me. And we kind of ended up going lower a little bit and then we reclaimed immediately higher. And I know VWAP is a heavy, heavy resistance to get by, especially in this scenario. VWAP is always going to be a heavy. So if you bought right here and we don't get over VWAP, it's a good idea to sell or if you bought right here and it's stuffing a view up again I might be holding a little bit longer in that type of context because we have just gone all the way down for a second time and then gotten saved so that's a different scenario than this one this one is kind of the first view app test this one's like the second view app test so for this one I'd probably be more likely to hold a bit more and then yeah so we ended up going higher and grinding higher and we came down we kind of consolidated and then I was kind of out into this pop I just said you know if we start grinding higher shorts can be in trouble and I just said, you know, kind of there we go. We're starting to go higher. If we test VWAP, it'll be bullish again. In this type of scenario, this is a great way to kind of exploit how shorts are trapped. Everyone sees this type of candle right here, but... I mean, at the end of the day, it's the same stuff happening all the time where we end up going higher and then we end up kind of going lower and then we consolidate and then we grind higher and kind of grind all those early shorts out, grind everyone out, really. I know a lot of people are going to say, well, how do you know shorts are trapped or not? Like, I, I mean, you don't. You don't know that shorts are trapped until you get over here. But by the time you're buying over here, it is kind of too late. For me, anyway, it's kind of too late. I'm going to I'm gonna take a chance on saying, OK, I think this can go higher since it, you know, kind of came down and got saved. I think I would take a chance on something like that because these are also very low risk plays. Like if you're looking at this one, this is a very, very low risk play. Again, we're, I'm just risking a little bit underneath this line. So that's a pretty low risk play. This one, again, is a low risk play as well because I'm just gonna risk a little bit kind of underneath this kind of line. And I mean, that's it, right? So I'm trying to get the best risk re reward, but I'm also thinking, okay, what what what's the line gonna be that shorts are gonna get trapped on? What's the line gonna be that 
kind of early FOMO guys are gonna enter on. Where is VWAP? I'm mixing all these things. I'm slowly, slowly, slowly painting a picture. I'm building an, an edge, right? I know that it's easy to borrow. I know that the stock is SSR. I know that a lot of shorts saw that death candle and they're now baited and thinking that it's done. The stock ends up showing me that it's not done. I end up taking a long position, just, you know, decent risk reward. And I know that a lot of people are gonna think, well, it's under VWAP, you know, we got that candle, it's definitely done, definitely gonna be a fader. It does the exact same opposite that everyone was thinking, um, grinds everyone out, squeezes everyone out, and that's really kind of it. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you wanna see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.